chapter three, problem number 53. You are in a hot air balloon that relative to the ground has a velocity of six meters per second in the direction due east. Okay, so we have the velocity of the balloon relative to the ground is six meters per second due east. Now, you see a hawk moving directly away from the balloon in a direction due north. Okay, so we see a hawk moving away due north, and that would be relative to not sure. So you see a hawk moving directly away from the balloon. Okay, so that would be relative to the balloon. Okay, so the hawk relative to the balloon is moving away due north. The speed of the hawk relative to you is two meters per second. Okay, so now this is getting, um, well that would go here, two meters per second, because that's the speed of the hawk relative to you and you're on the balloon. What are the magnitude and direction of the hawk's velocity relative to the ground? So the unknown is V H G. Okay, so let me read the problem again and let's go over the given and the unknown again. You are in a hot air balloon that relative to the ground has a velocity of six meters per second in a direction due east. So that's the velocity of the balloon relative to the ground is six meters per second due east. You see a hawk moving directly away from the balloon in the direction due north. Okay, so the hawk is moving away from the balloon at 90 degrees. The speed of the hawk relative to you, and you're in the balloon, is ten, 2 meters per second. So the velocity of the hawk relative to the balloon, which you're in, is 2 meters per second. And then the unknown is what is the magnitude and direction of the hawk's velocity relative to the ground, and they want us to express the directional angle relative to due east. Okay, so the angle should be relative to due east. So, if we take VHB and we add it to VBG, we get VHG. Vector diagram, VHB is north. We add to that VBG, which is east, 6 meters per second. And then the unknown VHG is represented by this arrow. So to find VHG, we use the Pythagorean theorem, VHG is equal to the square root of VBG squared plus VHB squared. So we have 6 squared plus 2 squared. Okay, that will give us the speed. And then the angle right here, theta, will be the arctan of VHB, which is 2, divided by VBG. Six.